In this video, I'm going to show you how to design a unique just sold post like this with Canva. Here we are at the Canva homepage. I'm going to click on social media here, and then I'm going to grab the Instagram post, which is your standard square post, which is 1080 by 1080 pixels. Now for this tutorial, what I'm showing you is how to create the design from my Instagram post bundle, which looks like this. So this is a template I sell on my Etsy shop for real estate agents. And particularly what I'm going to show you is how to make this post here. And if you want to shop this template, you can find it on my Etsy shop or in the description box linked down below. Now let's go back to the empty design here. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is click on the background color and I'm going to choose the gradient from my brand kit here. And quick tip, if you wanted to add a gradient to your Canva brand kit, which is by the way, a pro feature. So scan this code here to try Canva Pro for 30 days free. Um, we can now add our gradients into our brand kit. So select your brand kit and then hit edit in the color palette. And then from here, you can just click the plus button. And then from solid color to gradient, you can obviously select your colors or put in your specific hex code. And then you can add up to 10 different colors for the gradient and then choose the direction of which way you want your gradient to be. And when you're happy with that, just hit done. So I'm just going to exit out of here and just hit done. Next thing, I'm gonna go into the elements library. I'm going to scroll down and go into frames here. I'm just gonna select the square one and I'm just going to roughly Roughly, let's see here, size this up something like that. And then I'm going to just grab a text box, put it at the top here. This is where I'm going to put the address of the home. Let me just first make this white. And I'm just gonna paste in a random address here. Alrighty, maybe make this a little bit bigger that. Now I am going to grab a photo to put into this frame here. And so we need to create a layered effect. So you will understand what I mean by that in just a minute here. So we have this image dragged into here. I'm going to click the lock position twice actually to really lock it down so that nothing can be dragged into here. And next I'm going to grab the same exact image and I'm going to roughly just put this on top and try to match it exactly. And I just let's cut it down. And the reason why I am not duplicating the image in the background or duplicating the frame is because we actually need the native photo to be directly on top. That way we can properly crop the first layer image to show the text behind when we do the just sold text. So you will understand more as we get into this tutorial, but leave these two photos just for now. I'm going to go into the elements here. I'm going to grab a square or a rectangle. And what I'm doing is creating a faded gradient at the bottom so that I can put my contact information and just create a nice aesthetic. So you don't see the end of the bottom of the photo here. So I'm just going to go into colors here. I'm going to grab one of the gradients I have. So it's a dark to light gradient, but I want to make the lightest color to actually be fully transparent. So I'm going to just actually, let's see here, click this, nope. Click this shape here and hit those sliders. And ideally I would pull this all the way down here. And actually in this case, I am probably just going to make this just a light color somewhere around here. Cause I just wanna make the bottom of the photo not able to see it. So it's kind of fuzzy, which is what I want. I want it to have that faded gradient look so we can't see the bottom of that image. So that's pretty sufficient for me. And so next thing is I'm going to 
just put in an image of myself in some logos here. Um, but to save you the time, I'm just going to copy and paste my logos and text box for my other design here. So this is what it looks like. You would have your logo, your um, brokerage logo here, and then it just your contact information. Let's actually, I want to move this kind of here. Maybe we should bring this up just, oops, just a little bit so we can put that there. And you can also put a photo of yourself. Let's see if I can find myself, this one here. And what I'm going to do is just obviously use my most favorite and beloved tool, the background remover tool. Again, yes, a Canva Pro tool. So scan here to try Canva Pro for 30 days free. You know what it is. And then I'm going to add a shadow. I'm going to do a dropped effect just to add some more dimension in probably just put myself a little bit smaller in the corner, just like that. Now you can add a line here. <laughs> Oops. Whoa. Technical difficulties. You can add a, I was trying to draw on my screen. You can add a line here if you wanted to. If you go L on your keyboard, it will pull up a line just so you can have some, I guess you could say, I don't know, a border between your logos and the text there. That's just for aesthetics. It's, it's totally up to you if, you if you want to do it or not. But let me just bring this up. So it would look something like that, you know, something like that. Let's, you know what, let select everything, go into positions and middle it. There we go. Yes, good stuff. All right, I'm going to just push myself over just a little bit more. And so that's what the bottom of the image would look like. Sorry for the interruption. Let me drop this introduction. I saw Canva templates on Etsy for my real estate agent besties. So scan this code here to shop or scan this code here to learn how you can get all of my templates for free. As always, links are in the description box down below. Like and subscribe for the good, good vibes. And let's get back to the video. Now, this is where we are going to be creating the hollowed out effect so go and grab another text box here i'm gonna grab this one i'm gonna make this really big and what i'm going to do is let's see do i want it sold in all or sold like this okay so i'm gonna do sold like that in capital letters and this might be, I ideally would choose something a little bit more bolded than that. Typically, I go with something like Open Sans Extra Bold because it's really, it's a really nice fat text like that. And so it creates a really nice hollowed out effect in my opinion. So I'm going to go with something like this. And what we are actually going to do is duplicate this text box. So you can select it or you can go into the positions panel up here, go into layers and you can see that we have this selected. You can hit those three dots there and it just duplicate. And from here, we are going to line them up. So both of these layers are lined up perfectly. Now the second layer, the bottom layer here, what I'm going to do is add an effect and I'm going to give it a lift. I'm going to pull it all the way up, go back into positions here. I'm going to grab the layer on top. And then I am going to go into effects once more and we are going to hollow it out. And we're just going to put this for maybe 20 for now. I know you can't see anything because they are layered um, or they are on top of each other. But now here is where the fun happens. Okay, so what I'm going to do is this image layer that we locked down, I am going to unlock it because I want to select this one and I'm gonna go into the edit panel and I'm gonna actually blur this. So I'm gonna blur the whole image and typically I'm just gonna go 25, maybe even 30, 30, okay? 
And I know you can't see anything because we have the image on top. So with the second image, we're gonna leave that as it is. But actually what we wanna do is click and drag these two layers down the sole text. I'm going to um, select both of them and pull them down because what we're doing is creating a design sandwich. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is take this sold layer, the bolded one, and I'm gonna put it in between the two images like that. So it should be the image that we blurred, which is the one in the back, the sold with uh, just, it's fully bolded, and then the second image layer, and then the sold outline. So from here, what I'm gonna do is select the second image, and I'm just gonna pull it down like that and you can see here we have that blur effect because we blurred that first initial layer and if we pull it down you can see that we have this cool effect of it being ho the hollowed out effect and so i just like to blur the first layer in the back just so we can see the text nice and clearly but that's what that looks like if you wanted to bring down the sold just a little bit more you can in my case i'm on a mac if i select the sold hold the command key and, and click the sold one i can just select those two layers only and i can just bring this down to just a little bit lower and then click the first image on top and pull it down a little bit more so we can see a little bit of the bold sold in the back just like that and so that's pretty much the design you can share this as a png you can download this as a png and just save it to your desktop you can post this as a static image to your instagram or your facebook but if you wanted to get a little bit fancy what you can do is add some animations which i'm going to show you right now so again let's select one of the text boxes here go into positions and again the trick here is to select the first text layer Again, I'm on a Mac, so I'm holding the command key. I believe if you are on a desktop or Microsoft, you hold the alt key to select just individual layers. So I'm going to select the sole, hold my key, command key, click that layer there. Then we're going to go into animate. And what I like to choose in this case is going to be the flicker like that and the pulse so it's going to pulse and flicker at the same time so you can choose your intensity of how fast you want the pulsing to be but i'm just going to leave it somewhere around there now from here if you go into duration we can see that this page is a five second design but you can pull this up to anywhere from 10 to 15 seconds and if you give this a playback this is what the design will look like so from here you can either download this as a gif or download this as an mp4 video now dep it's dependent on what you want to do i find that if you download it as a video the quality of the images will look good but if you download it as a gif it won't look as good but you can just post it on various places so it's totally up to you so I'm going to show you for the sake of this video what it will look like if we download it as an mp4 video file and the difference of what it will look like if you were to download it as a gif. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit that and once that's downloaded I'm going to show you what they look like. So this is what the static post looks like. It looks really nice, very snazzy in my opinion. Now this is the mp4 video file. So this is roughly a 10 second clip with the soul text uh, flashing and pulsating and then here is the gif. So it looks the same but if you look at my image here it's it's a little bit the, co the contrast has come down it's not as sharp as it would be if you use the video so you can see here it's more lifelike you know life in me but with the gif i kind of look like a zombie in my opinion but totally up to you how you want to download this particular design and that is it for today's tutorial if you made it to the very end then you know what it is you know what to do yeah comment down below and crew so i know you are a real one as always thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and if you would like to learn how to design a seamless instagram carousel post for your upcoming listings then check out this video right over here because i know you are going to love it and if you're ready get ready to click in three two one